I've got a list of students here in an Excel spreadsheet. They're organized right now by first name and last name. And what I want to do is sort them into some random order, either to make random lab groups or work groups or something like that. Here's how you can use Excel's random function to make that happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move over actually two columns and choose a random number here. I'm going to get a random number for each student. And I can do that using Excel's random function. R-A-N-D, open parenthesis, closed parenthesis. That's going to create a random number here for me between 0 and 1. And then I'm going to fill down so each student will get a random number associated with them. Edit, fill down. And I've got random numbers there. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the random number that I originally had there for John Arden, it changed as soon as I filled down. It turns out that this random number function will give me a new random number every time I interact with that cell. And I don't want a new random number. I want to make sure that I have one random number associated for each of these people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this row of random numbers. I'm going to copy that row. And now I'm going to paste it into this row. But I'm not going to paste just the values. I'm going to paste special. I should say I'm not going to paste the formulas. I'm going to paste the values. And what that means is when I paste those in there, these are the actual values from this. You can see that in the act of pasting, these numbers got changed again. These values here, when I pasted them in, they got changed again. But now that I've actually pasted the values in here, this is no longer the random number function. This is the actual value that I pasted in there, and that's not going to change. So I don't really even need this row anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete that row. It's not necessary for me. Now John Arden has 0.177 assigned to him. And if I select those rows and choose Data, Sort, and choose to sort by row C, or column C, rather, I'm going to get this new series. The names have been mixed up a little bit, but we can see that John Arden still has his 0.177. There has been no change there. And uh, these are the list of lab groups then. These two could be lab partners, these two could be lab partners, or maybe these five are going to be working in a group, and these five are going to be working in a group. So that's how you randomly sort people using Excel's RAND function. If you need to sort back into your original order, of course, you can always just select those rows, choose sort, and again sort by last name rather than this random number that's in column B. And we're back to our original list then. Hope that helps.